Hey, so today's question of the day comes from Linda and Linda asks, how is A school compared to the real Navy? So today, let me share with you my opinions and my views. So I've said this before, but in my opinion, boot camp, A school, and also even movies, right, are the most ideal military life. When you are going through boot camp and A school, you are going to learn the structures and how things are run in the military. But in reality, in my opinion and from my experience, it's very flawed. Now, when you are watching a movie in a scenario, let's say, there's a person that's leading, let's say, five people. And that leading person gives out instructions and orders to these five individuals, right? And in the movies, these five individuals follow those orders, right? Say, yes, sir, and, you know, do whatever it is that they're supposed to do. But in reality, from my experience, I've seen one too many times, almost on a daily basis, people questioning uh, the people at the top. Now, one thing that I want to clarify before I do begin, the military, and specifically in my case, the Navy, is an awesome program. It's fantastic. But what makes it flawed and what makes it difficult for people is there are individuals in the Navy that make it difficult for everybody else. And, and that is extremely, extremely hard for me to explain to you. The people who have gone through this program understand exactly where I'm coming from. Unfortunately, the military is not how movies portray it to be. When you join the military and you are in the system, it's going to completely shock you. Now, for some of you, you might get lucky, right? Military experience is going to depend on two things, location and people. Location is what you are going to be doing. Just because you chose a certain rate doesn't mean you might do that certain rate, right? Depending on the location, they might need you to do something else. And people are the people that you work with. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to explain to you exactly what I mean in detail, but I'm going to summarize it in, in a very simple way. You could have, right, bad people and a bad location, right? You're working with crappy people, right? And you're also working in a crappy environment and also doing a job that you didn't even expect to be doing. For example, uh, scrubbing toilets, painting, and doing janitorial work for the last two years. That's, that's me, right? I signed up to be a logistics specialist, but guess what I was doing? Painting, scrubbing toilets, and, and that's what I was doing for the last two years. You could have a bad place, but good people, and that's bearable, right? You're doing a, a, a terrible job, but at the same time, you have friends that you can trust and believe in, and, and you can get through this experience. You could also have a great place and bad people, right? doing something that you absolutely love, but working alongside people that you don't necessarily trust. And that's a bad combination also. But there's also, if you're lucky enough to go to this place, you could be working in a great location, doing great things that you love and enjoy doing, at the same time working with great people, which is the best ideal situation and that you might expect the military life to be. But in reality, that's not the case. And you don't necessarily have a choice, right? When you are in the military, you go where the military needs you. So Linda, I know I went a little bit broad here, but to answer your question, the military is not what you will expect it to be. Boot camp and A school are the most ideal military life. When you get to the real Navy, it's going to shock you how different it is, how disrespectful people are, how different the job is from what you actually imagined it to be, right? People, you know, you might get lucky, right? And get to a great location and work with great people. And I hope for you, and I hope uh, that happens for you, but you could also go to a bad location and work with bad people and there's a lot of people that I know that unfortunately within a year or less of being in the military say, hey, I can't do this anymore, I'm out. And there's a lot of people that I know that even my subscribers, right? You know, with I've been doing this for almost three years now and I've seen a lot of people that subscribe to me and watch my videos come into the military and quickly leave the military uh, due to culture shock. 
for me, I believe I got a bad location and bad people. You know, it's starting to change here and there, but you know, over time, it's affected me very much. It's it's made me a completely different person. Uh, but I have a very positive outlook, and I, I'm I'm trying to be I'm trying to interpret uh, the situation that I'm in in a positive way so I can grow as a person. But I, I gotta tell you, it's very, very difficult. For me, it, the, the military has been a very, very painful experience. And for me, I do not, because of this experience, I do not want to be in the military at all after uh, my time. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a great Navy day.